When you was at your lowest, tell me where the pros were there. 3.30 in the morning, scroll to the call off. Choo, 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 choo. Ain't nobody but the mirror looking for the fall off. Yo, let's move between these bars. When the homie man man talks, you gotta listen, homie. Respect my bro on the wall of credits. He be writing in the comments section. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, bro. It's all love. But the homie always drops gems. And y'all stay sleeping on him or saying he's reaching like he bullshitting. He be dropping ill of minds. No, we recognize the knowledge, bro. I appreciate you. I'm not the biggest J. Cole fan, so I'm not listening like Mad Man is. But he said, yo, check out Hunger on Hillside. I was like, all right. What's going on over there? If I quit now, then I'm dead wrong. Fighting off this hunger for hours. Big step, but nigga don't get stepped on. You bet your ass is some sneak this. And the Homer filter is way more appropriate for this than anything ever. At this point, J. Cole is a damn cartoon. This motherfucker wanna play hopscotch with his own career and shit. I feel like he wrote 20 different Port Antonio's, Port San Antonio, Port Gulf of Mexico, all these different ports. This this fool wrote mad ports before he got to that port. This sounds like a, another like a Freudian sl He's talking. Was big step, but nigga don't get stepped on. The money might pay, but respect on. Still gonna be me when success gone. I don't speak the language of cowards. Objection! He's lucky this bullshit came out a couple years but ago. But that still doesn't change the fact that he made himself look like a bitch twice. Apologize on stage, then apologize to a motherfucker that ain't gonna fuck with you no more, which is crazy. <laughs> Big step it don't get stepped on. This is where we're gonna take a walk. Ah oh, shit. Here we go again. The homie Madman pointed out this pretty wild coincidence on the release dates. And the reason he pointed all this out was shit, because of reason. I'm gonna get back to you on that. Oh, where I know my name, bitch, my rep strong. Ain't fucking around, be though, and me gon' get you hollered at. Niggas ain't seen me 101, that's worth the collar brand. You hitting the voice, congratulations, cause you built something. You taking a lot of box of lessons, but you still pussy. I see right through you, niggas, just like you by collar brand. Boy, looking sharp. Go. 2021, remember. We got a big stepper reference, we got boxing skills, we got a Tupac hologram reference. You could have referenced any damn artist or anything in the world. You wanted to go to Tupac, the hologram of Coachella. Huh. Why did Reason get stepped on so hard at the label at that time? Because he wasn't terrible, he wasn't amazing, but he wasn't terrible. There was some issues beyond issues going towards the end though. I know he had a lot of release issues, like, oh, they're not letting me put out music and all of this. In his interview that you've been seeing, it's either TDE or Dreamville, he said. But there's always Dreamville ties there. It's just weird how they kind of just X'd him out. It was like, no, you ain't putting out shit, bro. And then they didn't go to that fool's release party. Nothing. They stopped supporting, cut him off. Like, straight cut him off. There's a reason why you would get cut off the way you would get cut off, though. What happened? There's something beyond something that we all don't know. That whole reason situation, that's, that's, that's a breakdown and a half right there. That'll take like 20 minutes to break down. Then you got him going on back on Fig and arguing with... It's, it's a mess, bro. It's never us holding albums. The niggas want to oh. drop records, niggas drop records. You know what I'm saying? But niggas never going to jump on a line and air shit up. But Big Reese, you want to have a convo? Let's have a convo, man. Sound oh. like, sound like, it sounds like you don't want to be here, damn near. Nah, I never said that. I said I would never do it no other way. Let's go viral since you want to do it. Come on. Can you name me 10 Reason songs right now? You from L.A. You a L.A. native. Can you name me 10 Reason songs right now? No. I ran. I put my tongue all in my bitch, she get that holler in. I ain't doing no dirt no more, I stopped creeping six years ago. Fuck fucking up hoes until you realize that you is the hoe. Wait, I'm sorry, what? I ain't doing no dirt no more, I stopped creeping six years ago. The fuck you mean by that? I put my tongue all in my bitch, she get that holler in. I ain't doing no dirt no more, I stopped creeping six years ago. Fuck fucking up hoes until you realize that you is the hoe. <laughs> At this point, you a hoe in more ways than one, bro. Oh man. When you was at your lowest, tell me where the hoes was at. When you was at your lowest, tell me where the pros was at. 3.30 in the morning, scroll to the call off. Choo, 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 choo. Ain't nobody but the mirror looking for the fall off. Ain't nobody but the mirror looking for the fall off. Uh, yeah, they felt like they were talking to each other a little bit. It was like, oh, where are you talking? You want to talk a little bit of that shit? I'm going to talk some shit back at you. Just These are just small little things like, I, I agree with Madman. They were saying some shit to each other on these two songs. This isn't the longest video. I just wanted to break this down because I found this comment to be real interesting. Appreciate you, Madman. I think there was a little bit of a spark going on. What y'all think? Let me know. Like and subscribe. Love. Bad. I had a release party. Um, uh, nobody showed up from the label. So okay. that like 
for me, was Wait, love. Yeah, the release party you just had? Yeah, the one that I had one on Thursday. And nobody from the label showed up? My bad, Rayvon showed up. Shout out to Rayvon. Rayvon showed up. Nobody showed He's up. He's the only person from TD that showed up. He's the only person from TD that showed up. I had an early listening party the week before, and everybody didn't show up, but like majority of like them showed up. So mm -hmm. I took it as two ways. Like maybe, you know, they showed up to that one, so they're not showing up to this one. Or also maybe they're giving me my space. You know what yeah. I mean? But showed up. But I, I took it, and I know people are going to take it however they took it. Take it. I took it as... You know, maybe niggas is just giving me space because they know how I am. That's how. I